I wonder where uh, that guy shows. It's an enigma. Oh, drug craft. Okay. I, I, I yes! I didn't, I didn't make a dragon craft deck a, a while ago, yeah. I don't know how good it is, but I did. Come on. What's the, oh, yeah, what's the oh. haven craft deck I made? Like, good, even though I lost with it good. Was it decent? I didn't really see what you were playing besides amulets. So, I mean, I guess it's fine. Not every deck has to have a theme or, like, a central card, but it kind of helps. How long did it take you to make that legendary deck? By the way, I forgot about that deck. Legendary deck. Huh? What legendary deck? The, um... The one that has all legendary cards. Oh, I don't know. I disassembled that deck because I didn't really use it. But most of those cards I already had because they were all just like Shadowcraft cards that I didn't I didn't turn into vials. Oh, okay. You know what we should do that I'm thinking about that I just I just thought about again? <laughs> we should both play with our worst decks we made. My worst deck is my first one. Do you I don't, have a bad deck? I don't see, I don't really have a bad deck because any deck that I just didn't like or didn't use just disassembled. There's decks I haven't really played or don't really... I haven't really, like, fully figured out. That I guess kind of counts. My, first, my bad... My worst deck is the first one I made. I, I literally called it, I think, Trash is what I called it. That's the deck that I put, like, all high points on. Do you remember that? That was a terrible deck. I like a better test would be like what deck that I barely know or like barely play versus your best deck, not the chess deck. <laughs> you had a, if you knew enough you wanted to not the chess deck, I would have chose the chess deck. I'm, I'm getting my ear checked tomorrow. It's been like muffled counting my right one. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna check tomorrow. I've had it muffled for a good like two weeks. Okay. 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 It better not be an ear infection. <laughs> nice. I feel like you might like Roost, Phoenix Roost deck for Dragoncraft. Which is like the only Dragoncraft deck I play. You know, you know what I just thought of as you said that for some reason? Huh. I just thought of, I, I want to make the, I don't know, I feel like it'd be pretty expensive to make that you have, but I want to make the, uh, the Roach deck. That one, you know what I'm talking about? Ooh, okay, Roach, alright. That can be kind of cheap to make. I'm kind of curious of how it exactly works. Like how, like, okay, so one thing I was going to know is why do you like redraw it every time you get it? Because every time you play it, it gains an extra attack point. And if you have five attack oh, okay. points, it can have Storm or can attack you directly. So the more you can return it and play it again, the stronger it gets. So eventually you could literally just play, um, it again and again in the same turn to get you down to zero even if you had like 20. Is it a hard deck to play? Like hard to understand how to do it? No. Most decks just have a simple gimmick. For that, for that one, it's literally just summon Roach and return it. And then play it again and return it. It's like, that's all you do. Sometimes you return it and deal damage, sometimes you return it and draw a card, sometimes you return it and heal, sometimes you just return it. But the problem is you have to have other card to support you or protect you, so you don't just get attacked relentlessly. Here's the thing. I, the only deck I know fully is the chess deck, and I couldn't even know that. Yes, because again, you refuse to play last words properly <laughs> 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 i played since like all the time i know like 
I remember every card by heart and everything, so it's easy to do. Like, I don't have like it's on the card to see what it does, I just know what it does. I'm seeing it. Making space, making space. Oh. I'm cooked. Yeah. 